Will React IL work for me? To answer that question, we need to actually answer three. Question number one, is the molecule infrared active? In the case of something like acetone, we've got a really nice carbonyl band that gives us very strong infrared absorbance. Now, Beer's law, of course, tells us that absorbance is proportional to concentration. So any change in the concentration of that molecule in our reaction leads to a change in absorbance, which we'll see very nicely as a change in our react IR spectrum. Just a reminder, this doesn't need to be a carbonyl band to work. Other bands are infrared active as well. So if our molecule may have carbon halogen bonds, for example, those carbon halogen bonds are great absorbers and they'll show up well in our react IR spectrum. So as long as the molecule is infrared active and there's a change in that molecule, we're a yes to number one. Number two, in most react IR applications, we're looking for the chemistry to be in solution. With a comp probe and the ATR technique, we're not going to measure bubbles and we're not going to measure solids. As long as the chemistry is in solution, we're going to answer yes to number two. Just a reminder, if there is an off gas from the reaction, we can measure that as well. We just channel the off gas to a gas cell and then we can measure through that gas cell. And finally, number three, answer the concentration question. Is my concentration greater than about 0.1% in solution? If it is, our answer to number three is yes. Three yeses, probably that's something we can do with React IR.